Hi everybody, this is Lonnie. Thanks uh, for coming back. And today we are going to talk about and explore a question that I've gotten um, about doing inside of a box or a container or a tray or something like that. As you know, or may not know, uh, on we create on autofocus the head comes in and then drops down and gets the autofocus beam where it needs to go. If this lip is too high, after it picks up the autofocus and it leaves, it catches the side as it leaves. So what we need to do is we need to find a way that we can make the head come in, do the autofocus, pull back up, leave, and when we go to print, it comes in from the top and goes back down. Um, so we don't um, either damage the head or knock the, the piece away. Um, this is a scrap thing that I've done. So um, the sides on this, just to give you an idea, are about 32 millimeters high. Uh, the, the box itself is like 126 squared. Um, the only thing that you're going to have to be aware of is when that head drops down inside the box and it does its engraving, if the side of the head is too high, you're going to have to keep away from the edges because it will have a tendency to want to hit the edges. So be careful when you do it and be aware that that print head has to have room to work in there. So if you do a box like this, you may have to have an area uh, on the inside that's considerably smaller, you know, say 48 50 somewhere around in there um, but that all depends on the machine so let me get some stuff together and we'll explore this situation okay the first thing that you're going to want to do is come up here to settings click on settings come down and you'll see about halfway down the page auto focusing on turn it off and then read the safety thing um, tells you a few things you need to know and then hit confirm and then escape back out of that okay now you notice after you turn autofocus off you get a slider over here this tells you put in here the thickness of the material it goes up to 100 millimeters to zero we're going to put it plug in six because that is the thickness of the bottom of this board okay let's refresh that make sure it's where we need to be now the only thing that you have to be aware of is when that printer head comes over and gets down inside of here and it spins it goes back and forth whatever you're gonna have to maintain your image small enough in the middle of this to where it since it's down inside it doesn't bump the sides so you'll have to do a little playing around with it um, to figure out where it's gonna be um, and the, the way that I would do it would be um, get your center marked and then try it on a, a piece of paper with no high sides before you try it with something with high sides just to make sure that you're going to be bumping into it if that makes sense so we're just going to take here we're going to make a circle because there's not a lot of room inside the square and i know if i get anything much bigger than this i'm going to probably hit the sides okay put some settings so we're going to put a mark on the wood all right, and then we're going to send it over to the printer, and I want to switch cameras, and we'll try it out. Okay, so here we are, back over at the engraver. Back here's the laser head. Here's our piece that we're working on, and if you were to have autofocused this, it would have came over found where it needed to be and that whole box would have lowered down until it became in focus and then after it came in focus it goes straight back to that corner without raising uh, and in this case with the lips on the side of that it would have caught it drug it and possibly damaged something uh, if everything works right since we turned auto focus off when we manually plugged in what size it's going to be this head will come over 
drop down, do its engraving, raise up, and then come back without um, cruising with it down. So we're going to hit go. It came over. It's dropping down. And as you see, well, you may not be able to sit very close. If I'd have made it much bigger, each one of those strokes would have been hitting the side of this container. Uh, so you got to make sure that you give that head plenty of room to move around inside of there. So you're not going to be able to prep edge to edge on the inside of something inside the laser. So it's threatened the circle that we asked for. It's almost done. And when it's done, it should raise up and then go back to the side. If it doesn't, it's obviously going to hit that box and possibly mess something up. She's finishing up. Done. It's raising up. It's cleared the sides. Once it gets to the top, it'll shoot over. Okay. So we have our dot in the middle. And like I said, when it was going back and forth, it was pretty close to the side over here. So, I mean, if you had a platter, you'd be able to get something in the center of the platter, but you don't plan on getting right up against the edges. Um, uh, what make I sure when you're done, you go back and turn autofocus back on. Um, hope that helps. Mm -hmm.